Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys enjoyed the holidays, although they were something none of us have ever experienced before, but whatever you did, I hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. We had a super chilled one. It was just a few people that live in the house and I just spent my entire time cooking in the kitchen. I made vegan dumplings, which are on my blog, by the way, and on Instagram, so you can go and check those out because vegan dumplings are just not for Christmas. I mean, I would have them every single day if I could. Um, but yeah, you can check out the recipe. I also did a vegan roast. I did raw cakes. I did a lot of soups. So yeah, that's where I was. And there was a hell of a lot of food. Let me tell you, there's still some in the freezer, even though we were eating for like four days after that. So much food, but it kept me happy. So whatever you guys did, I hope you enjoyed it and you are well. Happy New Year, although happy isn't really the word I would want to use to describe going into 2021, but we're going to keep it happy on my channel, so we're not even going to go down that road. It seems that we are having less and less control of what's going on out there, but what I want to remind you guys today is that you 100% have complete control of what's going on in your body, what you're putting into your body. And that's why I wanted to do today's video so that I could give you some tips on how to strengthen your immune system because that is what's gonna protect you against anything out there. And what better time to get yourself in the best shape internally, externally, as you possibly can than in lockdown when there really isn't much to do. So before we jump into today's video, guys, please subscribe to my channel, hit that bell so that you get notified every time I post. I post every Sunday. And once you have, we can jump straight into today's video. So firstly, let me explain what your immune system is. Your immune system is made up of different areas in your body, things like your organs and your cells, which work together to support you against outside threats, toxins, pathogens, physical injuries, even stress. And once your body has had a virus or something happen, the immune system will remember that and it will be better equipped and protect you better the next time it comes around. If anything, you won't even feel it because your immune system would have already dealt with it. So that's basically what your immune system is. And it's very powerful. It is literally your first line of defense. <laughs> The first thing I really want to stress to you guys is to clean up your diet. If you haven't cleaned it up already, then really start to make a conscious effort to do. You need to be eating more fruits and veg. Natural whole foods really strengthen our immune system. So foods that are citrus like lemons and oranges, red bell peppers, broccolis are amazing, almonds, garlic and ginger. Oh my God, I eat so much garlic and ginger. I cannot tell you having garlic raw is just the best grating raw ginger into your teas and drinking them is just amazing for you so the more you can do that the stronger you're going to get your immune system so i would definitely start by cleaning up your diet i have a ton of recipes over on my blog which i'll link below in the description box for you to take a look at <laughs> So the second thing I want to talk about is a few supplements that I have been taking for a while and I don't really remember the last time I was ill to be honest, um, but these are great for your immune system. So the first thing I want to talk about is, where is it, is probiotics. Now if you guys follow me over on Instagram or seen a few of my previous videos on YouTube, you'll know that I talk a lot about probiotics, specifically soil-based probiotics, they're SBO probiotics. And the reason that these are so important is that they replenish the good bacteria in your gut. And did you know that 70% of your entire immune system is within your gut? So we really, really need to be looking after it. So SBO probiotics are something that I have every single morning without a shadow of a doubt. I don't, I've been having them for years. These are my absolute favorite. It's by Kiki Health and they're called Body Biotics. So I think you can take up to three capsules a day. Um, I only take one at this point. If you have never used them before or you have had quite an unhealthy diet or you have digestive issues, then I would start with three and then start to work your way down. But this is what will repopulate your gut and 
strengthen that immune system. So the next thing I take is a multi mushroom blend. This is an eight extract blend from again Kiki Health. I these are my main. This is the main company I buy all my things from because they're organic. They come in glass jars and they also cut. They're a darker jars so the light doesn't get in and it doesn't diminish the nutrients of the product inside. So this blend has cordyceps, lion's mane, chaga rishi, she take. Agaricus, my take, Auricularia, Auricularia, definitely saying that wrong. So medicinal mushrooms contain powerful polysaccharides called beta glucans, and these have been found to fight inflammation and balance the immune system. So these are definitely ones that you want in your cupboard. You would take these after a meal. So I take, so you're meant to take between two and four. When I'm not feeling too great or something's up or something's coming something's going down i will be up to four but on a regular day i just take two so that's the mushrooms and lastly you need vitamin c to fight any kind of virus and it's great to eat oranges and drink lemon and water and eat foods with vitamin c but this guys honestly it's acerola powder from Kiki again. So acerola is basically a cherry and this cherry has been freeze dried and then powdered and then that's what you have in here. It's very sour, I love the taste, but you basically mix a couple of teaspoons in with water and you drink it. The acerola cherry is so high in vitamin C. In fact, I think, yeah, it's 40 times higher than an orange, the vitamin C content. So this is another one that you want in your cupboard so that when you're coming down with something or it's getting cold or you have a little sniffle, you can drink this. And I promise the next day you wake up feeling brand new. So they would be the top three supplements that I would suggest. There are other ones out there, but these I just feel are enough. Um, again, I don't take this every single day. I'll just take it when I feel I need it. But with the probiotics and the mushroom blend, I just like to keep my immune system on its A game. So these two I will have every single day. The next thing is exercise. Any form of physical activity, guys, is going to strengthen your immune system and it's also gonna strengthen your mental health and both of those combined need to be in good shape in order for your immune system to be working. So 30 minutes a day is really all you need. I recently have just really got back into fitness. It used to be something I was well into when I was young and then I stopped for a bit and I'm back into it now. And that's one thing I'm grateful for over the lockdown is that I've had the time to do that and reignite my passion for working out and fitness. But I do roughly, I mean, I'm, I'm a bit OTT. I'm doing two hours um, every two days, roughly. Even if you did half an hour of Zumba, which is just dancing, it just gets that heart rate up. It's really feel good. Like anybody that does Zumba is laughing and smiling. The other thing you can do is just go for a walk, like a half an hour, like good solid walk. Any of those options, guys, is just gonna do the world of goodness for you, your mind and your immune system. So try and get half an hour in a day and you are good to go. So the next thing that is so powerful for you and your body and your immune system is essential oils. Now, I am obsessed with essential oils. There is a whole documentary talking about how powerful they are, topically diffused and how quick the time, like they have the quickest time from moment of smell to going to the brain. I'll find that documentary, I'm not explaining it well at all, but I will find that documentary and I will link it for you below, but it is just, they are just amazing. One of the best oils for your immune system is tea tree oil. Tea tree oil is antibacterial, antifungal, antiviral, anti-inflammatory, and it is the best for boosting your immune system. And it smells amazing. Like, I wish you guys could smell this. I'm sure you guys know what tea tree smells like. But I have to say, buying a good oil 
is so important. Anything cheap is not gonna be coming from a great source and you really need the most potent stuff. So a brand that I is my favorite is actually doTERRA. This is their oregano oil. I didn't have any tea tree left in the doTERRA. I mean, this brand is called Vividus and we researched them and they were good and it smells amazing. I always know with cheap oils, I get a headache. So that's when I know an oil is not that great. Um, but I definitely didn't get a headache with this one. There's a few ways that you could use the oil in order to strengthen your immune system. I diffuse it into the air. So I have a diffuser and I will put water in and then a couple of drops, no, I say a couple, about five drops, and I will let that diffuse in the whole house and I will do deep breathing exercises throughout the day to get it all into my system. So that's a really great way. Another really nice way of using the oil is to mix it with either coconut oil or almond oil, just a carrier oil. So a couple of drops, again, four or five drops. I keep saying a couple, it's a bit more than a couple. It's four or five drops. If you mix that in with the oil and rub it into the bottom of your feet. So I normally do this before I go to bed um, as well. It just gives you such a good night's sleep with the smell. And then I'll put socks on. As our feet are very porous, it really takes in the oil. It's really great place to put it. So I rub, I give myself a little foot massage basically with the tea tree oil. So that's something I've been doing recently. And then other oils that you can use are ones like rosemary and oregano. These are all beautiful, beautiful oils for strengthening your immune system. I also find with oils just in general, they're just so good for my mental health. They're very soothing and very relaxing. So I am a huge essential oil fan, as you probably will be once you start to use them. So the last thing for your immune system, guys, is getting a really good night's sleep. When you sleep, your body goes into a state of repair and it just does wonders for your immune system. Lack of sleep literally just slows down your recovery with anything. So sleep guys, and I know that is so much easier said than done. I know myself, I've been struggling even the past few days. I don't know why I think there's a lot going on in my head and not just be not getting out as much and not tiring myself out, which is why these two hour workouts have come in so that I tire myself out. Um, but we really need to just try and make a conscious effort of doing it. Just start to wind down a couple of hours before bedtime, switch off the TV, switch off your phone. Don't do anything that involves a lot of thinking. Um, I like to use essential oils, like I mentioned earlier, so like lavender. I like to do a bit of deep breathing exercises. Um, I also like to read, that makes me crash. Whatever it is, guys, that you need to do, just do it, take that time, give yourself the self-care and do it because sleep is just so important. So now I've talked about all the things that protect and strengthen your immune system. I just wanna give you guys a heads up of the things that weaken your immune system and you need to seriously avoid specifically at this time of year with everything that's going on. So smoking, drinking, I know this is obvious, but these things are just overall really bad for your health, but mainly just destroy your immune system and make it very weak, which means that you're gonna be more susceptible of catching anything and, and not fighting anything if you do catch it. So if you can, please either reduce it dramatically or just stop because if there was ever a time that you needed to stop it, just stop it now. Please, for you, for your family, for your friends, believe me, we suffer watching you do it, so please just stop. The other thing is stress. It literally destroys your immune system. You could do all of everything I just told you, the good food, the supplements, the sleep. If you are severely stressed, literally it cancels it all out. I am living proof of it. I cannot believe how much stress destroyed me after my grandmother died. I know I've spoken about it a few times, but it literally destroyed me. My hair fell out. My skin was just covered in boils. I was lethargic, tired, depressed. I mean, the list goes on. That's just a whole other video. Um, but yeah, it literally just, it's not good. So please try not to stress about what's going on out there. Don't turn the TV on and listen to the news all the time. It's not necessary. And just do things that make you happy, whatever they are. And I know it's harder because there's less things for us to do, but this is why we really need to look inside and look at things that I just, for me, I just 
started to do things that I used to do when I was a kid and I couldn't leave the house because I had to stay at home because my mum and dad told me to. So things like art, like I love drawing, I love exercising, I love dancing, I love like making my room clean and smell nice and have a nice ambiance so I'd have like lighting. So these are, I know it sounds nuts, but, but these sort of things are the things I've been doing that I did when I was a little girl basically that made me so happy. Oh, another thing was playing computer games. So I loved playing computer games when I was a kid and I haven't done for years. So I've just hooked up the computer again and I just play, I don't overdo it because that's bad, but I do like half an hour a night or every other night of a bit of gaming because that just makes me happy. So whatever it is, guys, do more of that and do less of the things that stress you. And if anything is stressing you and worrying you, it's just not worth it. And if people are stressing you and worrying you, they're not worth having around. So it's a good time to sort of cleanse a whole area of your life. The other thing is avoiding a diet that is high in saturated fats. This in general is just so bad for you, so please avoid it. Things like table salt, throw it away. It literally is evil. Buy things like Himalayan salt and um, rock salts, black salts, red salts. There's so many amazing salts out there with full of minerals um, for your body that are good for you, so buy them. The other thing that you really need to avoid, I feel completely, is refined sugar. Like white sugar is just the devil. It literally feeds cancer cells. It is the cocaine of the food world. So you just don't have it. Just there's other things, dates, coconut sugar, although it's a little bit refined, it's still so much better. Maple syrup, there's something called Palmyra jaggery, which I talk about a lot. It's a blossom from the Palmyra tree. That's so safe that diabetics can have it and it's completely natural. There are so many options out there that you really don't need to be having white sugar. And believe me, that's hiding in everything, in your breads, in your cereals, in processed food, don't get me started, but you need to stop having that because these things destroy our immune system and destroy us. So avoid them. And another thing is staying in, it's not good for us in general, for our mental health, um, not getting enough fresh air. So I know that we've been told to stay in. Yes, I get it, but make sure you get outside um, and get some fresh air, take some deep breaths, go for a little walk. If you have a garden, walk around that. If you don't have a garden and you can't go out, stick your head out the window and just breathe or open all your windows, put a big jacket on and just let the air recirculate and give your, your house a lease of fresh air because you need it, because if you have the stagnant old air that has just been, that you've been living in, it's not good for your immune system and it will weaken it. We need to stay positive, we need to stay educated and we need to support each other through this time, guys. So I hope you found today's video helpful and informative. And if you have any questions about anything, please comment below, ask me, let me know if there's anything that you have that you find is amazing from your immune system that I have missed out, please comment below and share it with our community so we're all helping each other and we all have the best information that we can possibly have. I'm also on Instagram, guys, so come say hey to me over there. It's at Honestly Alessandra. I'm active on there daily, so you'll be sure to find some sort of information or inspiration about health and wellness. So make sure you come and say hey. And if you haven't already, guys, subscribe to my channel. I need each and every one of your support. Like the video if you liked it and also share it so we can educate and inform as many people as we possibly can. And until next week, guys, look after yourselves, stay safe, and remember, you are in complete control of what you put into your body and into your mind. And I'm gonna leave you with that. <laughs> Bye, guys.